Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I just wanted to give you a quick update on the gym. I know I haven't put anything out here lately. I've been really busy. I got several things going on. I got, I've got started a business, you know, plus my regular job, plus YouTube, plus we went camping. I mean, all kinds of stuff. I got just really busy. Guys, I just wanted to give you a quick update on the gym. I've made a few changes. One really big change that has really changed uh, how I exercise and how I uh, relax. I'm gonna show you what that is here in just a second. But guys, if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, that bell icon. That way you get notifications every time I upload a video. But let's get to it. It's gonna be a really quick video. I'm not gonna take much of your time. But here, here's the first thing I've made changes to. What's that? Oh. As you notice, I went ahead and found a place to put my bikes. They were on the other wall. I ran out of space, so I had to find a place for them. This worked out well. Um, this is an old, this is just two by fours that I've attached to uh, the studs. I got these bike hooks at uh, Home Depot and I made these boxes that keep the back tire in place. And I just noticed my tire is flat. Oh, that's no good. I must have ran over something during our ride last week. Ooh, that's really flat. I have to change that tube, I'm sure. Let me check the back one. Not too bad. I have to pump that one up. Uh, but yeah, I went ahead and uh, Mounted the bikes here. I still have this shelf I gotta put away. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it. Maybe right here. It's getting a little crowded over here, but you know, the weights and everything. I've gotta find a place to put this stuff, but uh, yeah, so the bikes work out real well right here. If they get in the way, I can just move them. Uh, move them out of the garage while I work out. And of course the fan really helps. It's getting cooler here in Florida now, so I don't really need it as much. Uh, but during the summer, man, it kills. But guys, the biggest change I made in here is right over here. I got a saw. So let me back out a little bit and show you where I placed it in the garage. Of course, this is the uh, side I did most of the work on, uh, but I was able to fit this three-person sauna right here. But guys, this is a cedar sauna. All right, guys, so I'm actually in the sauna now. I've got it turned on. <laughs> it's uh, it's building up heat pretty quick. Uh, but guys, this sauna has um, been a game changer for me. I have some health issues that cause me to be on blood thinners and things like that. And, uh, you know, doing a lot of research, these saunas help improve circulation. Um, you know, it's something I do. If I don't feel like going out for a run that day or exercising that day, I'll just get in here and just sweat it out. And I'm telling you, you feel so much better when you get out of this thing after sweating for an hour. When I first bought it, I could probably last about 20 minutes in here before I just had to get out. Because I cranked this thing about 170 degrees. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, yes, yeah, six burners in this thing. Or, I mean, uh, elements in this thing. And it gets hot quick. And, uh, yeah, that, that it's, I think it's the best addition you can make into a garage gym if you have the room. You know, just to loosen up your muscles before working out or after working out, just get in the sauna and uh, sweat it out a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, so uh, a couple things. Uh, this is broken. <laughs> I bought it used and uh, these people said that the movers broke this. And so I'm going to take that radio out. I'm not going to use it. I don't listen to it. And uh, it's just old school. So I'll probably just plug that hole and get rid of all that wiring. Uh, it does have speakers and stuff in here, but I don't, I'm not going to use it. Uh, but it's in pretty good shape. It's, it's used, uh, but you know, you save a lot of money buying used. And I'm starting to break out in the sweat because I'm in here and it's cranked up to 154 right now. So let's get out of here. And, uh, but guys, if you ever decide to buy a sauna, you know, look on Facebook. Facebook will be your friend when it comes to these type of things. So a lot of people buy them and really just never use them. It's kind of like a, uh, a, uh, a hot tub. A lot of people buy hot tubs and just never use them or they use them first year and they never get them again, especially in Florida. You know, saunas in Florida, a lot of people don't like to sweat because they're sweating all year, uh, but I do. This is just uh, the newest addition to the, uh, the gym. Yeah, so this is the garage gym. This is the update. I hope you've enjoyed these videos. Let's back up a little bit and let you see the whole gym now. So there's the sauna. And there's the gym. Yeah, I do realize that that's a little bit congested over there, but you know, if I take this out, move it over here and turn it on, 
I have plenty of room for activities. I can still get to my weights, get to my bells, my barbells with no problem. So yeah, that's it guys. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed all these videos. Uh, every time I do something, I'm just gonna give me an update on the garage gym. These videos are doing real well on my channel and I appreciate every one of you watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. It helps a lot. Leave a comment. You know, just let me know what you think about it. I really appreciate it. A lot of people don't comment, but comments do help when in the algorithm and everything like that. So if you could, just leave a comment whether you like it, don't like it, um, whatever. Hope you like the video. Give me a thumbs up, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And we'll see you next time. Bye now. Thank you.